Hey guys, it's Zen, and today I'm going to explain a glitch called Blooper Skip in depth. Blooper Skip is a trick where we use a glitch called Hazard Respawn Glitch to teleport Mario across the room to land on the platform for the pipe to Chapter 1. Hazard Respawn Glitch works by abusing the way the game updates Mario's respawn position. Normally, the game updates Mario's respawn position after two frames of Mario being on the ground. If we fall out of bounds or hit a hazard, it will respawn Mario where he entered the room from. Hazards include water, spikes, or fire bars. Since the game takes two frames of Mario walking on the ground to update his respawn position, that means there is a one frame window where his respawn position has not been updated. If within that one frame window we jump, the game does not believe Mario has touched the ground and won't update his respawn point. If we fall into water, touch spikes, or hit a fire bar without updating Mario's respawn point, the game has a fail safe spawn point which respawns Mario in the center of the room, hence why the trick is called Hazard Respawn Glitch. Blooper Skip is a trick that involves two frame perfect jumps, as the water is too far away to make in one jump. The reason why Blooper Skip works is by doing two frame perfect jumps, the game never believes Mario has touched the ground, so it defaults his respawn position to the center of the room. By doing this trick, it skips the Thousand Year Door cutscene, Sweet Treat Star Power, Power Smash Badge, and the Blooper Boss Fight. This is also how we can take Frankly on a magical journey through Chapter 1 and 2, as he will continue to follow us. Doing this trick it takes a lot of practice, as doing frame perfect jumps is something you can only really do with feeling or muscle memory cues instead of audio or visual cues. To do blooper skip consistently, it can really help to understand the dust patterns Mario makes. Mario has two types of dust he can create. There's moving dust and landing dust. Moving dust is what Mario makes when he's moving around. It is shaped like an angled triangle with a thicker circle on one side. The landing dust only appears when landing from a jump. This surrounds Mario and is much different than the moving dust. When doing blooper skip, doing two frame perfect jumps will never have Mario produce any movement dust. The first jump will have no dust, and the second jump will only have landing dust. If you see movement dust in either of your jumps, your timing was off. Here is a side by side comparison of each jump. You'll notice both of the incorrect jumps have movement dust. This means the jumps were too late and Mario walked on the ground for at least two frames. All in all, blooper skip is pretty easy once you understand it. However, executing it in runs is the hard part. Blooper skip is easily the biggest reset point for runners for TTYD. However, blooper skip is not the only time we see HRG. HRG can be done in the blue switch rooms to get into later chapters once we have the super boots. Chapters 5 and 6 are available for us to go to using this trick. In the English run, we go to chapter 6 before 3, and then we go to 6 again after 4. HRG is also used to quickly get through the fire bar room, although this is because the trigger for Mario's respawn position here is different than any other room. We can actually just Yoshi hover over the trigger and respawn in the center of the room. Well that's HRG and blooper skip, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my Twitch stream, my Facebook, and my Twitter, all of which are included in the description down below. Thanks everyone, and I hope your day is amazing.